Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. C coming to you live from Chicago. I'm about ready to step on stage. I get to talk to the Brits today. It's amazing to be able to be part of the Evolve Network in just about 90 minutes. And so I thought I'd spend a little bit of time with my students today in my weekly update. Something I want to talk to you about is the art of giving and receiving feedback. This one's a tough one because it's a little tough on the ego. I know students get my red pen and they get a little bit standoffish when they see all of the corrections and the opportunities for improvement. And this is where I want you to be able to look at how do you frame criticism? Do you call it a gift? Do you call it criticism? Do you call it feedback? Do you call it an opportunity to improve? These are the types of things we have to look at. How do we get better every day? Simple question, but not a simple answer. Our ego can sometimes get a little involved, particularly when you're dealing with faculty, uh, who that is our role is to help you improve, to look at what you've done well. But most times we look at where we can help you do better. But again, that is something that takes our egos a little bit of time to adjust to. So I want to help you reframe the feedback that you get from me every week, whether it's in the discussion board, whether it's in a phone call we might have during my office hours, whether it's in one of your papers, one of your essays, I promise you that I'm invested in your success. I just happen to have a little bit of inside baseball, shall we say, a little bit of techniques and strategies as an accomplished writer and a 20 year professor that might be meriting additional consideration on your part. But I know what we hear sometimes is that there's something wrong with us and there isn't. You, perfect, wonderful, lovely, happy that you're in my class. Absolutely thrilled. Many of you have had some amazing conversations and I can't wait for the rest of the term to see how the rest of it turns out. But there's a little bit of ego here. And my point is not to insult you and not to insult your writing, but to give you an opportunity to see that there might be some areas that can really move forward just a little bit with a few tweaks here and a few tweaks there and a little bit of moving beyond passive voice and a little organization. Remember, I have some videos on how to create that writing system. But I've really noticed, particularly during these difficult times with COVID, our emotions are invested. And a lot of times we're struggling with anyone that's going to come and rain on our parade. And I want to let you know that we faculty have your best interests as our best interests at heart. And we are really here to be able to help you improve because we're going to send you out into the world and my name is on your transcript and I'm pretty proud of that fact and I want to make sure that you use the information that we're giving you. But I know it's a little hard on the ego. So here's what I'm going to teach you today. Separate yourself, your person from yourself, your skill you're trying to master. That's it. Dr. C is not her writing. Dr. C, absolutely wonderful, lovely. Everybody loves me, right? The question is, my writing? Yeah, I still have editing. I still have editors. I'm working on my children's book right now and it's kicking my butt a little bit. It's a new skill. It's an area I'm not that expert in yet, but I'm moving in that direction. But we have to be willing to try. And here's that F word. We have to be willing to fail. Remember what I teach in class. Fail faster, succeed sooner. Let's get all the stuff that you don't know how to do. Let's get it out of the way and get to the good stuff because anything's easy once you know how. You just don't like to get to that get and how part, right? If it's uncomfortable, we tend to run for the hills. And that's what I want you to do is hang with me, separate yourself, That put yourself the person over here. You're wonderful, you're amazing. Some of my students are doing wonderful things in the world, it's great. But I have some opportunities here that might help improve your thinking, help improve your writing, help improve your presentation skills, and maybe even get you promoted. So I want you to be able to look at some of the things, maybe some fresh eyes, and to be able to see it as it's a good thing, it's a gift, it's wonderful, everything that I'm offering you, as opposed to your ego taking a hit. Because I know what it's like. I remember well, more than 14 years ago, on my doctoral journey, and how brutal that feedback can be, unless you can make that shift. Just, I'm not my writing, it's just a part of the skills I'm trying to learn. That's it. So take a good look at some of the things I'm offering you. See if we can't reframe it just a little bit, have a little fun with it. Know that I am invested in your success because my name's on your transcript too. Wherever you go, that name of mine's gonna be there. And I take that responsibility pretty darn seriously. So again, I'm Dr. C. Have a fabulous Wednesday. I will look forward to seeing you in class.
and sing you around the quad. Be good, be happy, be happy. Bye-bye.